Hey guys, TechnoMinjury with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to download and install apps on your iPhone 13 Pro or any of the 13 lineup that was recently released. In this video, we're going to show you guys how to do that. And additionally, if you have a bunch of apps that you downloaded in the past, we'll show you guys how to get all of those without searching each one up and being able to quickly download and install all of them that you had on a previous account on your device. But before we go ahead and get started with today's video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways so make sure that like and subscribe button as you can see here this video is going to be more of for beginners or someone that's starting up with a new iphone or if you recently bought a new iphone and you're transferring your stuff over and haven't had the chance to transfer your apps and we're going to show you guys how to do all of that first thing whenever you want to do that to install an app on an iphone is that you'll need to have an apple account there's no other way around this so apple account is free it's completely free to make if you don't have one if you have existing one make sure it's signed in your name is going to be displayed here if you're already signed in when you were setting up it if not you'll see here where it says create one just create one it's simply a free to do you don't even need a credit card anything you can select for the payment option to be none and make sure you have created your account once you have freely created your account next thing you want to do is go to the app store so app store is where all the apps are can be found you're not going to go anywhere else besides this app store here when you get open up app store you're going to get these messages simply just select all of this till you get to the main screen here as you can see here now we get to the main screen of the app store in the app store there's different options here you'll see some of the popular apps that are showing up games other apps arcade and then the search bar but before we actually search up app we're going to make sure we click on this icon up here and make sure you are signed in here if you're not signed in here or if you need to sign out and sign into a new account you can also sign out and sign into a new one but make sure your account is signed in with your email and once that's been signed in you're going to simply want to go ahead and click on the search option and then look for your app that you want to download let's say we want to download facebook for example we click on and search for facebook and as you can see here a couple things going to happen either you're going to get this in the get app or you're going to have this cloud with icon that's loaded that means this app has been previously downloaded using this account so all of these apps you see have been previously downloaded on it but if an app that hasn't been downloaded it will show up something like this where it says get and you're going to want to do is click on hit that get and you're going to see this account come up and then install option so you're going to want to click on install and then it's going to ask you for your app id simply press the same app id that you're signed into that device so we're going to put in our app id here quickly Once you put in your Apple ID, you can go ahead and sign in here to authorize the App Store. What's going to happen is if you already signed in, you might also get Face ID where if you want to do the Face ID, it will click install. It will automatically look at your face, make sure you're not wearing anything covering your face. And then simply it will go ahead and install it for you as well. So make sure if you have Face ID, it will probably give you that prompt there. So once you have done that, you'll see this icon where it's loading up and now it's going to install the app for us and we'll see the app appear here as you can see it's installing here sometimes it'll also appear here in this library here if you can't find it you can also search up it here and after it has fully downloaded it will be a clear icon right now it's a bit grayed out and that means the app has been installed and we're good to go and the other tip here is that if you already have a Apple account and you used it on other devices and you wanted to download those apps on the new iPhone here you can also simply go into your profile here and then look at purchased purchase doesn't mean actually paid for it it just means apps that has been downloaded with that account so again purchase is going to be linked with your account that you're signed in here it's going to show all the apps that you have downloaded on that account and then this other option where it says not on this iPhone if you click on that it will show you apps that aren't downloaded on this app that you have downloaded on other devices using this same account you can simply go through these and then simply download any of the apps that you want to download on this device that you don't have available again very simple you find the apps you can simply there's no 
for all but you can simply just click on all these button it will download you can have multiple ones download without any issues and it will just download for you in the background as you can see here once it downloads it opens up and we are good to go so that's how you're going to go ahead and install app so again first tip is make sure you have an apple account it's free to create if you don't have one you're going to simply follow the instruction here where it says create one or in the settings once you have done that you can search up the app that you want to download here by clicking on that search navigation here and then search up whatever app you want and then the next thing is if you really have already been using Apple ID and you want to quickly find all of the apps that you download in your account go to profile and then purchase it and find all of those apps and just simply click on that cloud with the download icon and it will also download so that's going to be the way to download and install any apps that you need on your iPhone hopefully this video is helpful if this video is helpful please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time